हेलो फ्रेंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई टी और डिजाइनिंग डेवलपर माय नेम इज इशाल बे आई एम अ फुल स्टैक डेवलपर एंड ग्राफिक डिजाइनर सो प्रीवियसली वी हैव डन मेनी ऑफ द थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू नेक्स्ट डेस एंड आई होप यू ऑल एंजॉय दैट एंड टुडे वीडियो विल बी आल्सो विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टू सी दिस फ्रॉम स्टार्ट टू एंड प्रीवियसली वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू ऐड इनपुट और यू कैन से हाउ टू ऐड अ इनपुट टाइप यूजिंग नेक्स्ट डेस एंड आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट प्रोजेक्ट सो टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग हाउ टू ऐड buttons using next js and this video will be also really helpful for you to see this from uh, start to end you can learn one to one thing about this video and it will be also really helpful so i hope you will be understanding this video and if you have understand and enjoy this video so please hit the like to this video if you are new on the channel hit the subscribe button share this with your friends and family members so they can also learn what are these project and how to build these and everything from that so now we'll be starting with our browser So, like I said, new we will be just uh, using Next.js, and I'll be showing you how to add buttons using Next.js. So, we'll be starting like we have opened VS Code, and we were using VS Code previously on a previous video. So, today also we'll be using that text editor to work. So, here I'll be going to my search box on my desktop. Then I will be opening my VS Code text editor, which I worked with previously on. Now, I'll be opening your VS Code, so you'll be opening many of the files or seeing many of the files if you have worked with, or if you have opened any folder, you will be seeing that. But We don't want these folders or files. So here I'll be making new window and closing previous window and previous folders which is open. Now I'll be creating new folder. But before creating new folder, I want to open my command prompt. Here I'll be creating new folder. So I'll be defining the location where I want to create my new folder. And the location I will be setting it to local disk F. Then when you set the location here, and remember you can just also make the folder in your uh, ES Core also for by defining location there. But I am making. And, and I'm doing in command prompt so I can clear the things which you are having or which you are having problems. So here I'll be writing npx create. Then I'll be writing next step because I am creating a next step. If you are working with React, so you can write npx create React app. Or if you are working with React Native, you can write npx create React Native app. But we are working with next step. So I'm writing next yes next step. Then I'll be pressing enter. It will be asking the project name here. You can write any project name, but we are making like button. So I'll be writing my button. This is my project. Now I'll be pressing enter. Now when we pressing enter, so it will be installing some of the dependencies like React, React DOM, and Next.js dependencies which we needed to work with this project. Then you will be also seeing the Yarn here. But I think Yarn will be not work if you are on Mac, so it will be working. But if you are on Windows or Linux, so your Yarn will be not work. In Linux also, I think Yarn work, but in Windows it does not work. We have installed also because I have installed this Yarn and it does not work there, so. Because of that, it was doing like that, and when you press there, this you have to do it. Yeah. So now here you can see it is installing some of the dependencies like I have shown you, which we needed to work with this project. You can see it is installing still. So we have to data wipe till it is installing some of the dependencies. Now here it is installing React dependencies using React DOM and React JS dependencies there. And now you have to data wipe till it is installing the dependencies. Then it will be just uh, doing that. So here it is asking that. So here I will be now. So you can see there it is written that if there is any problem in the internet connection, you can see there is the error is coming. So now if I press enter again to check the error here, so I think that error will be not coming again. So here I'll be checking. You can see now the error has been gone, and now it is installing all the dependencies which we needed. Now we have to open our VS Code to check that our folder is creating or not. So I'll be going to local disk F. Then here our folder was creating with the name of button. So my button. The name of my button. You can see this is the folder which we will be opening, but we will be not opening here. First of all, we have to just download the folder, then we can open. So you can see it is installing the yarn and some of the dependencies. Then we can go into this. And here you can see up to data byte till it is installing. So here uh, now it has installed previous dependencies like log file and other three, uh, or we can say other thirty dependencies. Now it is installing yarn and other things. So it is fetching the packages here, and you can see now it has done, and our development server starts here. So I'll be closing this and opening the folder. Now the our folder name was like I already showed you. My button was our folder, and it was in last here it is. I'll be pressing, or you can say I'll be double clicking or opening, or you can press select folder folder. Now when you open this folder, you have to go to terminal. Just open your folder location. So there directly it will be opening your folder location. Then you have to. Run and you have to open it in your local server. So I'll be writing npm run there, and it will be opening your uh, these this app in your default browser. So your default browser should be like uh, many default browser are here. You should be I like you should be using Google Chrome, but I am using this project which is called 
this browser which is called Opera browser because it is good. You can see now we are getting Next.js app. We will be styling this Next.js app and then I'll be doing it like this, like this, then I'll be doing it like this. Now you can see how awesome is it. It is looking we are getting welcome to Next.js so we have to erase all the things because we don't need these. So I'll be moving to pages tab here. To use index.js file, I'll be not erasing back tag and erasing all the things which is written in this name tag. Do not erase this div class also. So remember to not to erase this thing also. Now when you've written that all, you can see we are getting this. And now we have to erase these things. Means we have to just not to erase this add, we have to just copy this add, then erase it from here. Now when you erase this, just I'll be doing one thing here and you press and control D because now I want to create a folder. And create folder with the name of components here. Now, when you create the folder, you have to go to in this folder and create files, which I have done. First of all, you have to create header.js. Remember to write first letter capital of every file which we are creating. And I'll be creating layout.js file. Then, when you created that, just you have to move here again and create footer.js file. Now, when you create this file, move to header.js and you have to just zoom in and I'll be pressing RAFC. When you've done that, just you have to move down here. Write h1 tag. In this h1 tag, I will be now writing button 1. Save this. Move to footer.js. Do same thing here which we are doing. So here, now I will be changing that to footer.js. Now you've done that. Here I will be doing h1 tag again. Then I will be doing uh, button 2. Save this. And when you just save these all things, you have to move to your layout.js. Do same thing here. RAFCE. Now when you've done that, you have to uh, backspace here, then you have to move down and the uh, things you have to write which I am telling you to write. So here first of all, you have to write this header function and then same as header function, you have to write a footer function there. Now when you've written these functions, you have to move down and paste the head which we have copied. You can see we have pasted the head. Now I will be doing one thing, I will be moving to my index.js from where I have just copied this head. If this was my file, then I'll be raising the head from here because I've placed that in my layout.js file. Copying this head from here by pressing Ctrl C, I'll be raising these two files because now I've copied that. Save this here. Go to layout.js and paste the import header which you have placed. Save this. Now you have to import this header means these two things also. You can see we are getting one small line which means we are getting error. Now we have to import this header. So I'll be writing import header from header. Then move at the top of this header and write import footer and then I will be writing save here and you can see we are just getting nothing at the form in the form. Now here I will be writing title. When you've written this title here, same thing you have to write here also title. Save this file, move to your index of this from here you have copied these things. Then you have to import the layout here. So import layout. This is the layout, save this. Then when you import this layout, you have to write a layout tag here. Just we have to now close this layout tag by writing this layout. Then I'll be just writing this close and I'll be closing this layout. Now I'll be copying this layout here. When you copy this layout, you have to just do simply one thing to space bit here and you can see we are getting button one, button two over there. Now I'll be setting the title. So we are just making a button. So I'll be writing button in next yes. Or you can write uh, next so I'll be writing next.js button. So save this, you can see we are getting the title of next.js button. So like this, you can set the title and you can just give it the uh, things you want to do. So here you can just give it the h1 tag here if you want to give. So I will be writing mini and just checking it is working or not. Save this, or you can see copy this here. And when you copy this, you have to move down and paste it here. Save this. And now you can see we are just not getting saved here. Then you have to just do one thing, erase this here and paste it here, save this, press control D, save and you can see we are getting the button. Now I will be going to my header or uh, you can say layout.js file, erasing this meta and link tag from here. I will be doing the same thing here as I will be moving here and getting to my get bootstrap like we were doing previously and copying my CDN or CSS. You can see here the CSS CDN is copy this CDN. You have to just do one thing, paste that CDN here. Remember to take this O capital. Then I'll be pressing enter here. Then you have to move forward here. Then you have to do one thing and press enter here. Also, same thing you have to do there. Press enter here. Remember to erase this and then you have to write this. Here. Save this. You can see we are getting it like bootstrap.
Now we are getting this button. Now we have to style so we can get button. Not this text we are getting. So for getting the button, we have to simply do one thing: go to header or CSS file. We are getting the button element, so we can just set uh, the H1 here. Control C. Then we have to just set uh, this to this is button one. Then here I will be doing like this. Save this. You can see we are getting this is button one. Now we have copied the bootstrap, so I will be setting this. Here. For setting this, you can set its class name. So for setting its class name, you can write here text. Uh, like I will be writing text left. Then you can give it the padding. Padding dash three. Save it. You can see we are getting padding, or you can set it to five. You can see we are getting here the padding. Now we will be setting button because like I will be putting button here. You have to write a button tag here. When you have written this button tag, save this file. You can see we are getting a small button. If I zoom and show you, you can see this is the button we are getting. Now you can style this button. You want to style here like how style you want. You can set its class name and anything here, and you can just style that. So I will be writing BP and save this. So you can see if I write here uh, padding five, save this. We are getting the padding, or if you want to set its padding to set it to five, you can write this. You can set its padding or three five. So here we are getting four. So you can see we are getting the padding. So here when you are getting the padding, just you can set its uh, width also. So I want its width. Hundred. Save this. So here I'll be doing one thing. I will be now closing this here. So here now we have to set this thing, and you can see we have set. So here I'll be now writing VPN. Save this, and you can see we are getting the text written here. This button. I'll be doing same thing here. Copy the same thing which we have written. Move to your Twitter or JS file and paste the same thing which we have written here. So paste it. Save this. You can see from here also we are getting space, and here I will be now changing the text, and I will be writing here. This is button two. I will be writing button two here. Now when you return this, uh, here we will be. Uh, you can now style the button you want to style. So you can write here read more. Say you can see we are getting the button with the name of read more here. Now you can style the button by giving it padding of two. Save this. Or if you want to give it to five, you can just give it the five. You can see we are getting the padding and we are getting the button. Now you can set its button how you want. So you can see we are getting button here. Then same thing I'll be doing there also means in my header dot js file. So here I'll be copying this button. Go to header dot js, then paste the button here. So I will be pasting that. Save this and here I'll be writing learn more. So right here, learn. Now you can see we are getting the button here. So here. You can set same thing uh, again. So here, uh, when you press that, just I'll be now closing this, save this, go to Twitter dot js, and then erase this BTM from here. Save this. Now we can see we are getting the button here. Now like this, you can just get your button, and you can just text. You can take it to center if you want that. Save this. So your button will be in center. So like that, you can align your button, and you can get button. So today we have learned how to get button in next year. So I hope you understand how. Uh, how to put button in next year and how to style this and you can style that also by going to CSS and style. But we are building it in next year, so I am not telling you to style and how, how to style it. So I hope you understand how to add button in next year. So I hope you understand this project also and enjoy this also. So if you have enjoyed and understand that, so please hit the like for this video. If you are new on the channel, hit the subscribe button, share this with your friends and family member. So we can also. Uh, when you share that, so they can also learn these amazing languages, and they can also make these things which we are making in next years or in other languages. So I'll be meeting next project for today. Good.